Hello, this is Mike Lively, and we're on the second video on a Way 3D into Flash Builder. And last time we were actually taking Flash Builder and we'd created a flex project and we're getting ready to program the uh, a Way 3D um, interactive scene in there. But before we do that, I actually want to go back and I want to uh, create an ActionScript project and show you how that's done from the code that we already have available to us. So let's go right to Flash Builder. And here's the project that we created last time, and we're going to get out of that, and we're actually going to create a new project, an ActionScript project. So right-click on the screen, go to New, and go to, to ActionScript Project. And we'll give it a name. We'll call it uh, My Action Script. Okay? Just something to uh, play around with. Hit it Finish. And it's opened up, and it's a, a action script package that is created. Here's the package right here. And we have two options here. We can just go ahead and drag the code from the previous program into here and use it, or we can actually modify this code and use this package as well. We'll probably do the other. But let's first of all get our uh, program ready to go. Now, it doesn't have the classes that it needs. Once again, we need that Away 3D packages. So you might think, hey, let's open up our previous project, right? And let's just copy and paste these projects uh, Away 3D line and net into the SRC and that used to work in Flex uh, 2 I believe that worked fine but now when you copy assets sometimes it only brings some of the folders not all of them so let's go to the original uh, source and just drag them into our folder from the desktop so I have that available right here there they are right there and we'll just drag our away 3D light right into the SRC folder and our .NET into the SRC folder now we are working with an action strip project so there's no MXML here there's only pure action scripting. So for a designer this can be a little daunting if you say start coding and so I like to be in design mode when I'm working with designers. And then at this point we're almost there but we need the code package to work with so let's open up the code and go to our basic interaction uh, action script and let's go ahead and copy that control C and we're going to paste that right into the SRC folder. And there's our basic action script object. Now I could go through here open up this package open up this class and actually copy all that into my action script or I can just make this my primary project but first of all let's see how you'd read this project there's two options here you can right click go to open with and you go to system editor that will bring up flash so you can read it or you can go to text editor let's click on the text editor and so the code comes up here in my screen and I can actually view it and I can change it here as well alright so that's viewing the code that's um go back and try to run this package. So like I said, I could have copied all that and pasted it into this original package that I created or I can just right click on it and go to set as default application and then I can run the application and immediately uh, Flex which or in Flash Builder which does an excellent job of error detecting has detected an error. Let's click on that and see what that error is. Over here you see there's a little triangular red bar, rectangular red bar. Here it is right here. Click on that and it'll take you right to where the error is and we can see what's happening here is that we're missing an asset. So right here we're missing the signature light asset and uh, we don't even have an assets folder. So first of all let's create an assets folder and then what you need to do is go back to Flash and create an SWF with this name and then throw that into the assets folder. So I've actually already done some of that already but let's go to our package. Let's right click on the SRC folder and create a folder called assets. And you want to use the name assets anyway because that's actually uh, created automatically in the auto code when you work with a, a flash builder. So that's a good name that you want to put all your assets into. I got a signature underscore light SWF file. I'm just going to drag and drop into my assets folder. I created that before this tutorial. And there's one more thing I need to do. I'm actually not going to be controlling the assets, so I don't need this symbol equals signature over here. So I'm going to remove that as well. And now I should be ready to run the code. So let's try it again. Let's save it, see if we get any errors. The error went away, that's good, and now let's run the code. And there it is right there, running right in the screen, and uh, not much work there. And uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of work to make the Flex project work, and you're going to be wondering why do it, but you're going to see how easy it is in the sense of changing the interface and work in design view, and if you're a designer, you're just going to love it, and this will be your preferred method. Let's move on from here, and let's create our Flex project. So we're back in Flash Builder's Package Explorer, and we want to start working with the application that we developed earlier, the Flex project called My Away 3D Interaction. But we have a problem here. We have all these other open packages. Is that a problem? It sure is. And the reason it is is because your processor is going to try to check each one of those projects as you begin error checking. And you don't want that to happen. You want all your resources to be devoted to the projects that you're working with, so let's close them. And the way you close them all is just right-click on the project that you're interested in, 
and go to close unrelated projects. Now all those folders are kind of grayed out, which means they're not being used, that all your process is concentrating on that one folder. Now if you want to later on open a project to work with, just right click on it and choose open project and that project will open up. We won't do that at this time. So now let's open up my Away 3D Interaction project that we created earlier. It's a flex project and we're going to open that up and look at the default code that's been generated. So there's not a whole lot there right now, so we're going to put some code there and we're going to start working with action scripts. So I'm going to go right here under the application tag, that's the first tag, and uh, what you want to look at real quick here is there's an ending tag at the end here. Okay, so I'm going to bring that open. I'm not going to worry about screen size, so I'll just delete that. And under the application tag, I'm going to put my scripts. So start with a less than sign, fx, and then put a colon. And immediately you see you're getting all this code hinting. You want to use that very heavily. And I'm going to look for script. Go down. And there's script. Double click on that. And then I'm going to close that tag. And when I close that tag, it auto generates the uh, C data tags where all my code is going to go. And I'm actually going to put my package there of the object interaction. So let's go right there. Let's go to my code. And let's look for that basic interactive object.as file. Let's open that up in the text editor. So I'm going to open that up, open with text editor. And what I'm going to do here is just copy it. So I'm going to go control A to highlight everything and control C to copy it. Let's go back to our program and let's just paste that entire package right there. Now we're going to be working with it and showing you how to take an Act Script package and um, put it into script for a uh, flex project. I've got a bunch of comments here. I'm going to remove those, not because I want to take credit away from each other, just they're in the way right now for this particular demonstration. And we'll finish building this project uh, in our next video. Uh, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.